Hi, I'm Pat and I'm an artist. So I didn't do much art as a kid. Two or three years ago, I started experimenting uh, just in the garage. I didn't know I had the talent at all. I just was experimenting and I thought it'd be fun to try some abstract. Um, I actually was watching like an HGTV episode uh, where they were doing like uh, design stuff for the house. So I thought, oh, since I, you know, since I moved into a new place, I'd try to do the decorations myself. I kind of used it as a therapy almost and I uh, found out that I just really loved it. Uh, first painting, uh, the first painting I ever sold was um, at a show at Element Coffee in Camarillo. He just kind of approached me and said like he knew I had been painting, like kind of building up some work. At first it was really scary. It was like, dude, I don't want people judging my work. But I still didn't consider myself an artist yet until I did that show. And once I did that show and sold a piece, I actually sold three pieces, I just knew it was my calling. So I just stuck it out, just kept going. Um, but yeah, everyone was so supportive. I can tell they probably thought like, oh, what's he getting into now? Because I always go through like different, you know, I'll go through different phases and some stuff drops out. Uh, like two months ago, I was skating every day pretty much. I was like obsessed with just skating flat ground. And, but I have a lot of hobbies and they kind of come in and out of the rotation, but art kind of stuck through the whole thing. But also getting it into the art community, they're definitely more critical because they're, they kind of don't want these outsiders in. <laughs> well, no, that's the wrong way to say it, but. I didn't know how to draw at all until probably six months after that, but I just, I just was really into doing faces and that just gave me like tons of confidence to pursue it more. So if I couldn't do things like in that style, then I wasn't a good artist. That's what I thought about myself, even though I was confident in the abstract stuff. Um, I did study up on YouTube. I also got a like um, portrait drawing for beginners. It was like kind of like a dummy portrait book, and you just learn the basic shapes, how to do an eye, and it, it started hitting me that it just starts with a basic shape and proportion, and then from there it kind of sky's the limit with the shading. I think we all have like a fear of uh, what other people think. Uh, it's key to know that we're all in this, like it sounds cliche, but we're in this together and we can lean on people when we need it. I've realized that I don't need to keep everything internally. I can like share that with people and bank on them for like to help me grow, so. Which is kind of the reason why we opened this spot so we can have big space. I wanted to have kind of a hidden gem in Camarillo where we can all just come hang out and uh, you know, have a creative workspace. Um, how I look at things is just, um, put my head down, work hard, and do just baby steps. So like every day I would just tackle a bunch of things that were pretty small, like on a daily level, but then you look back months or two months down the road and you're like, damn, I've busted out like 20 paintings. So this was the next natural step and incorporated that into the brand Gamut. Gamut means uh, like the full spectrum or the full scope of something. So. Like to run the gamut is just to do it all, and I feel like that kind of, my whole life is based around that concept. I'm just into all kinds of things, psychology, philosophy, art, music, uh, writing, uh, you name it. So it kind of worked out perfectly that my uh, brand would be based around my entire life, and that allowed me to be more passionate about what I was doing. Clothing design, I just knew I wanted something to promote the brand uh, other than art and fitness. So it started with uh, shirts just for all my clients, for all my fitness clients. So this was one of them actually. Uh, this saying is uh, my buddy Daryl inspired this. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to create cool stuff that I like to wear and I thought other people would appreciate too. And then it just kept snowballing. Like everyone liked the designs. Hopefully get it in a lot of stores around the country. Right now we just have it in Revolution Surf Company in Camarillo and we're looking to expand more into like uh, local areas but also like take it global so we sell a lot of stuff online um, the website is gamutlife.com on the site you can actually buy paintings prints all the merch uh, uh, you name it so it's all there uh, before art i was a personal trainer and i still actually train i have about three to four clients uh, and train them uh, pretty much every morning but i started as a trainer uh, once I figured out I could do that, that gave me a lot of confidence on my own. And then I figured I can do the exact same thing with art and tie it all together. 
when I first left the gym, like the corporate gym environment, that was a jump. But once I did that, everything was totally easy. Um, I feel like everything's happening exactly as it should, so I kind of just trust the whole process of it. Just a lot of stuff happens over the long haul if you just do consistent work, you know. Just stay true to yourself, that's number one. Uh, follow your intuition, follow your heart. Um, don't compromise uh, yourself for other people. Um, you definitely, we're all communities, so you gotta keep others in mind, but you know, um, put, out, put out stuff that uh, you're gonna be confident with and that you're gonna be stoked on. And if you work on yourself and you're happy and you do all the things that uh, make you happy, that's gonna shine through and affect others uh, the same way. So 